And welcome to another video of the Paddle Shift Project. Uh, my name is Matthew Stevenson and today I'm in my car uh, trialling the Paddle Shift system. Um, as you can see the centre console is out and the airbags off. Okay, Nothing's connected to the slip ring. Um, there's the Paddle Shifts. Uh, I've just tried them and they do work. Uh, if you look down here, this purple connector here lives um, under the park inhibitor, which is there, lives under this black plastic thing. Um, there's a black clip just just there, and that's what this this purple thing sits in. Now um, I've located the uh, tip um, steptronic or command shift um, wires. The white, uh, sorry, the grey and blue one here, which is this one here, with the blue tag on, that is the upshift. And the, uh, the yellow and blue one here is downshift. So when you put this into manual, if, uh, in, sorry, to drive, and you flick it across into manual, and you shift up and down, uh, those are the signal, the wires that the signal is going across. Okay, now I've tapped into it. Um, I've just removed it for a minute, but I'll, I will wire it up again, and I will demonstrate paddle shift working um, in the car. Okay, uh, I've not got the paddles fitted at the minute. Uh, because I need to find a way of getting the um, two wires through the slip ring because on mine all these sockets are in use because there's obviously the airbag, the um, infomet infotainment controls plus I've got the heated steering wheel option which I want to keep so I've got to find a way of getting two wires um, into, into this compartment I've not quite worked out how I'm going to do that yet but uh, I will have a look but anyway I'll wire it up and then I'll come back to you Okay, so I've got paddle shift uh, temporarily wired up. Um, this this red wire here is the I've only wired one paddle shift in just to demonstrate. Is the um, plus the up uh, shift up paddle? Okay, and the ground from the paddle shift system uh, I've just wired temporarily into the ground for the cigarette lighter. Doesn't matter which ground, uh, it's just a ground to complete the circuit. So I'm going to start my car. Okay, the car is started. Let's turn the radio off. As you can see, yep, we are in park at the minute. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put my foot on the brake and we're going to go into drive. So that's reverse, neutral, drive. There you go. Okay, the bleepers, turn them off. Okay, I'm going to flick across to sport mode. Sport mode. Okay. And now I'm going to demonstrate using the paddle shift, I'm going to go into two, three, four and five. It goes back to one because obviously I'm not moving and that's the best gear to, for the car to drive in. But I'm going to um, show you, one, two, three, five, there you go, and back to one because it's detecting. Now the um, normal manual mode still works so I can go up, oh, you can hear the clicks. And I can go down the gearbox using the shifter. So that all still works, but now we've got paddle shift um, here. So, in fact, see if I can move it across. Okay, so I've got the paddle shift here. So, ready? Two, three, four, five. Back to one because that's what it wants. So, one, two, back to one. So, that's paddle shift working on an L332. L322 early Range Rover, um, um, it is a 2003 Range Rover uh, working with the 2010-2011 paddle shifts as I say I've just got to find a way of now getting some wires through the slip ring. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, uh, my name is Matthew Stevenson, cheers bye.